What's up, squad? So I wasn't sure if I was going to do this reading today because I'm like, I don't feel like doing makeup and I don't feel like getting pretty for the camera. But that's not what we're here for, right? We're here to know what's going on with our lives. And I've been kind of digging the whole natural thing lately. So here we are. All right, squad. So I love y'all. I hope that you've been well. Um, we are in November, as you guys know. So let's take a look at generally what's been happening now it is uh, Saturday night. I have my wine. I'm just chilling right now. So um, y'all can vibe with me on that, okay? All right, guys. So let's see what's going on in the life of a Taurus right now. This is going to be for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs too, guys, okay? What is going on with fellow squad? Now, um, guys, if you are looking to get a personal reading, please listen to the end. And please know that my whole reading structure is about to change tremendously. So just, you know, so I can keep up with people more and get things out way faster. So definitely take advantage because um, my readings are not going to be as accessible starting in December. Okay. All right, squad. Let's see. All right, guys. So the energy that you have here is the Empress card in the reverse. All right, something that you're choosing not to move forward with or something that you just don't want to start at all. Um, we have the Ace of Wands, so a new passionate beginning coming in. The High Priestess, something that you're very in tune with. Your intuition is going to be on point. Um, but there's going to be some sort of secret that comes out here, guys, where you could just feel really, really upset. Or maybe someone that you're dealing with can feel very, very upset. All of these energies are interchangeable. It could be something that you're feeling or that somebody else is feeling. Okay. So something that's kind of, you know, throw you off, but you're dodging a bullet by something that doesn't work. It's something that was not meant to be on your life path. Okay. So let's see what this is about. Going into your past, we have the lover's card, all right? So with the lover's card, it's usually something intimate. Um, it could always be a situation with a close friend or family member as well. So let's see why this is here. We have the faith card in the reverse. This is actually our card. This is the Hierophant. Um, so there was some sort of either love situation or some sort of friendship that was unconventional. It wasn't meant for you. It's not something that was going to take you on a higher path, okay? I see it as something that would have held you back. And we have the Two of Cups, all right? So with the Two of Cups, definitely, you know, this strong interaction, but you knowing that things aren't going to work. And maybe some sort of secrets came out here where somebody just felt really pissed off or imbalanced or just out of whack with whatever this was, okay? The next card that we have for the past is the Four of Wands, okay? So with the Four of Wands, this is a card about establishing a foundation, building stability, getting yourself in a good place. Why is this Four of Wands here? We have, what is this, Four of Swords in the reverse, okay? So, in order to stabilize yourself, you had to move past the situation. And you put a lot of thought into it. This isn't something that you just dropped. This is something that you took your time and you said, you know, how are things going to be with this? How is it going to be without this? And with the Ten of Coins, guys, this was good. You moved past something that, you know, you had to put a lot of thought into. You got yourself out of a place of hiatus and money money coming in um this could have been just abundance in general things that make you feel really really good okay we have the three of cups in the reverse and the eight of wands in the reverse so for some of you if you were in a third party situation this is you coming out of it for others of you this could be in regards to work this could be in regards to your social circle your friends something was dropped and because this thing was dropped a lot came in and remember i always say if we drop some shit and you know we start getting blessings upon blessings that is a direct sign from the universe that you made the right choice okay the last card that we have is the Seven of Cups for the past. With the Seven of Cups, this is going to be a card about illusion or a card about choices, you know, but 
the main message with this card is you really have to prioritize what's most important. What can you do without or what can you kind of leave on the back burner? So you're trying to find balance. You're trying to figure out what it is that you want. You're not sure what you want. You're unclear as to how you're going to move forward. All right. But you're happy as hell. You got the, what is this? Nine of Cups. Sorry, guys. Roman numerals. Just get in jiggy with it. So with the Nine of Cups, guys, you're, <laughs> it's beautiful. And, and I mean, even for me, this really resonates because you're in a place where you move past something. And I feel like that was the thing. You're just telling yourself, I got to move past this. I got to move past this. So it's like you have this excitement like, ah, finally, I moved past it. But what now? Okay, so that's really what I feel. So there's this triumph, there's this happiness, I moved past it, but now I have so many paths I could take, so many people I could talk to, so many people I could do business with. How do I want to do this? Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Okay? Cheers to that. Okay, so there was something here, guys, just with that whole situation from the past, because that's why you kind of withdrew yourself. Especially if someone felt betrayed, whether it was you or them. Something that was a waste of time and effort. But it's showing that whatever it was that you had within your environment, it was something that held you back from thinking clearly. Your mind wasn't as sharp as it should be. Okay, especially in regards to money, guys. We're, um, we're naturally predisposed to making good money. Tauruses just have a good, good knack with money. You know, they're really able to um, manifest a lot of things, okay? So this is the most powerful sign when it comes to money, guys. Keep that in mind. In your present moment, you have the Ace of Cups, okay? So a new beginning, something good coming in, something that, um, you know, could be very emotionally fulfilling. This is Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti, just in case anyone's interested. Excuse the animals in the back. But um, we have the Page of Cups. So for some of you, maybe a new start with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, this could be some sort of offer that came in, something that makes you excited, something that makes you feel fulfilled. And we have the Ace of Coins. Money is going to be good. You're going to be excited about what this is. It's nourishing. It's fulfilling. Um, it, it looks good. All right. There's just something here that isn't working that you have to let go of. Okay before you can fully accept this. So make sure if there's anything that needs to be closed out, any loose ends, then, you know, tie those ends up. Next card we have is the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So this is just that energy of I can't handle bullshit right now. I can't take bullshit. I'm going to have to let this go. You know, I can't do anything that's tension. And with the Palace of Cups here, now when we have the palaces with this deck, this is kind of just that energy of that suit, okay? So think of just the tranquility um, the easygoingness of water energy. With you letting go something that was very tumultuous, you're going towards something that is bringing you peace. You guys are finding peace. That's that's incredible. That's you know that's beautiful, and you're seeing things for what it is. You're ready for a new start, and you're doing that. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. For others of you, there's things that you just have to cut out. But if it's a person or if it's something you have to cut out, you're just not interested. You don't have any faith in it. You're done with that. Okay, let's get one more card here. We have the Queen of Wands. For some of you, there could be a fire sign coming in, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or maybe that's who you're giving up on. Um, for others of you, you're going into something that can be entrepreneurial, something that you're building from scratch, something where you have um, a lot of creative ability to just kind of do what you want. Okay, maybe like freelance work, things like that. But you guys are kind of coming out of a shell right now where there's something that you're not burdened or that you don't want to be burdened by anymore, something that you're releasing, okay? Now, the last card that we have for the present moment is the sun card. So blessings come in. Storm, can you stop it? Thank you. For those who don't know, I ended up buying uh, an American Eskimo and her and my cat just go at it all day. But the cat is still the alpha in the house, of course. All right, let's see why the sun card is here. We have the hanging man. You're at a place in your life where nothing is forced. Friendships are not forced. Love relationships are not forced. 
jobs that you don't like, you're not going to show up. It's just you don't want it. So guys, right now you really have to make sure that you're manifesting peace and that you're manifesting good things. There are so many things in life. So when it comes to the work that we do, when it comes to the people that are around, you, you know, you're fully capable of finding something that you, you can vibe with, something that's going to be good. So make sure you're not settling. If you absolutely hate your job, then why are you still there? If you absolutely can't stand the person, why are they still in your circle? Okay, so you have control over this. Okay, but you guys have clarity that there's things in your life that weren't authentic and that you can't, you know, live your life in that way anymore. And we have the seven of coins in the reverse. So you're dropping things that are a waste of time and effort. You don't have time for it. Fighting, arguing, conflict, you don't have time for it. You're letting it go. Okay. For some of you, you're letting um, a fire sign go specifically, Leo, Aries, or Sag. Now, in your uh, future, the first card that we have is a Three of Swords. So let's see what happens here. Such a beautiful card. I want you guys to see it. I don't know if you can see the tear going down her face, but these images are just very, very powerful. I love this deck so much. Um, so let's see what this is. If there's heartbreak, if you know there's a tense situation. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, okay. And the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So it could be your pain or it could be somebody else's pain. Um, basically what I see coming in is someone from your past. Whether you reach out to them or they reach out to you. If you guys have been thinking about hitting up an old friend, an ex or something, I would advise against it, okay. I don't see it going well. I don't see you being happy. Um, if you have an ex reaching out to you, again, Something that you might want to distance yourself from. An ex-friend, ex-family member, whoever it is that you kind of just cut out. Um, again, it doesn't have to be your pain. It could be the other person's pain. Maybe they're trying to get back with you, but you're just not happy there. Okay? And they're just upset, and you're just like, okay, that's you. Know, that's you. Um, the next card that we have for your future is the Six of Swords in the Reverse. So someone is having a very difficult time letting something go. We have the moon card, and we have the page of coins. So honestly, guys, um, there is definitely a sense of clarity that you have here, okay, where there's something that I feel you guys have the power to manifest, whether this is you trying to talk to that person or them trying to talk to you, but there's some sort of third-party situation here. Someone has some unfinished business or something that they're not willing to close out. So with the palace of coins in the reverse, now this is our home. This is our domain. Um, if there's anything that makes you feel the slightest bit of discomfort, especially if it's with a person that you choose to be in your life. We choose our friends. We choose our lovers. We choose that stuff. Don't choose it if you feel that way. If you feel any sort of reservation, just let it go. Okay, and that's actually a, a conversation that I was having with someone today because I, I had to go back and just look at, um, I kind of had to revisit an old relationship with a friend and, um, you know, and just to sidetrack for a second, guys. But I was asked, like, you know, why did you drop me? It just doesn't make sense. And I'm like, damn, I wish I could come up with a good explanation, but it was just the fact that energies don't vibe. Um, and especially, guys, when you're going to be in a place where you're really just trying to build something and you're really just trying to do something good, you're not always going to have a reason why you don't want to hang out with the person you just know that energetically it doesn't raise that vibration and you want to raise that vibration so it's not that people are bad or that you can't stand them it's just that when you're trying to do big things or you're trying to excel at something in life you guys need life you guys need people that are going to give you life that are going to bring you up that are going to be good for you there okay there's people that don't even realize it but they could be in a room just sucking out everyone's energy and with me my empath stuff i'm very very sensitive to that if i have bad energies in my home i feel it for the next few days and i have to clear out my home okay the last card that we have guys for the future is the death card in the reverse so this is going to be a situation where you're dealing with something that isn't fully closed out or maybe something from the past coming in that you kind of have to deal with we have the king of cups in the reverse okay so definitely some sort of um, manipulation lying cheating somebody who's emotionally unstable and we have the queen of cups 
So for some of you, you could have someone from your past, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who tries to come back in, but there's unfinished business here, okay? Either you're dealing with someone else besides them, or maybe they're dealing with someone else besides you. Um, and let's see here, because it's showing, you know, in regards to the energy, we have the chariot and the judgment card, so something that can take off quickly or some sort of move that's going to happen, that the cards are saying, you know, um, with judgment here, the judgment card upright doesn't always mean that, you know, something is good judgment. It's just, you know, the card itself popping up is showing that you're in a place where you have to take a step back and you have to look at the situation as a whole, so you have to make that call. You have to make that judgment. I'm sorry if you guys hear that train in the back, um, but... With what this is, guys, you have to look at a situation that kind of happens fast. I feel like you guys are going to get into something that things just kind of take off. They feel good. They're quick. And then there's some sort of betrayal that's felt because of this new start that you had. So be cautious when it comes to the people that you're allowing in. Okay? You just want to make sure that these aren't people, um, you know, that are going to throw you off from what it is that you're trying to do in life. So I see something developing quickly. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. But someone is going to feel reckless in all of this. It's not going to be something that you guys feel hopeful for. But it's going to be something that I see has a crap load of passion. Okay? I just don't see it as something that's going to work. It's something that's not meant for your path. So just be cautious with anything that may come in, you know, rather quickly. just me myself in the past those have been the relationships or the friendships that have burned me the most the ones that kind of just happened really fast you know so really just make sure you give a person time um to really get to know them because in the beginning anybody can look like you know they're they're all gold and flowers um but when you get to know a person they can really start to smell up the house you know what i'm saying I don't get involved with the person until I see them pissed off. Because I want to know how you act when you're angry. What do you say? What do you do? What kind of vibration do you have? And what makes you angry? That's that's important too. What makes a person angry? Because if you're getting angry because, you know, someone happened to stare your way for a second, you know, they were daydreaming, and it's just like, yo, you want to fight, bro? Like, people like that? Nah. I'm so good off that. And you guys should be too. This is all about money, guys, and um, building our money, making life work for us, um, building success and all that. So that comes first, Taurus, okay? Everything else is fun and games, but secure the bag first. So let's get you guys some cards of advice here. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So from what I'm seeing here, there's something that you guys are just fed up with. And but you're balanced, you're okay. Your soul is so happy that you're out of this. Because of that, you can build. Because of that, there's gonna be a lot of celebration that comes in, and there's gonna be unexpected blessings that come in too. You just have to stand your ground and make sure that you walk away from something. Even if you're not hundred percent over it, you gotta walk away from it, okay? Um, so basically what it's showing is that there's going to be a lot of good things that come in here with the eight of wands, but in regards to a person or just a job or just a friendship, whatever it is that has to be let go of here, um, someone's going to be really, really pissed off when it's let go of. Okay, so I can see a lot of heated tension here, um, but you have so many blessings that come in because of it. So if you're fed up with something, it's time for it to go. Okay, especially if you put a lot of effort in because, you know, from what I saw in the reading, whatever it is that you guys are letting go of, it's something that you didn't just let go of overnight. You, you know, a Taurus is really patient and we're probably way too patient, like to a fault. Okay, so this is just something that, oh, it's been done. Just let it go. 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 Take the trash out. Let it go. Okay, guys, I love y'all. Now, um, Right now, the wait time for readings is about, I want to say about three weeks at most, okay? Um, now, like I said, guys, my reading schedule is going to change tremendously because I just have so many projects I want to work on. And I just feel like I'm in a place right now that if I don't work for a day, I have like a thousand emails asking me, you know, where's my reading, where's my reading? And it just caused so much anxiety and it took having to be around powerful people to realize that I was getting really, really, really drained. So I'm going to be taking things regularly for like the next month or so, you know, I'm just catching up and doing what I have to do. Um, but after, you know, once December 
hits, my readings are going to be very limited. Um, I'm not going to offer too many of them just so that I can focus on other things in life and I can breathe. And I just feel I'll bring so much good energy if I could actually focus on my family and focus on work and, you know, just focus on building things I want to do. And, you know, just I have a lot of things that I have uh, planned for myself. So take advantage, guys because things will change prices will probably go up as well so please take advantage right now um, if you guys haven't taken advantage in the past now in regards to readings guys um, right now the absolute quickest way to get a hold of me is through Instagram high vibrations 44 okay um, you guys can DM me there. I'm always offering $10 questions, even if I'm not um, advertising it like on my store or anything. Um, $10 questions, you guys can message me at any time. I'll send you payment options. You can also get that on my website, highvibrationswithliz.com. This is below in the description as well. Um, and for iPhone users, I am on an app called Instant Go. The fastest response you'll get is through Instagram though, because I just check it and I'm just nosy about people's lives sometimes and my friends and seeing what they're doing. But yeah, that's going to be. Um, um, the quickest way to get a hold of me if you guys need an actual reading reading please go ahead and um, if it's something that's very urgent get the emergency reading I get those out anywhere within two to three days um, if I'm ever a day late just realize it's you and a lot of other people so you know don't don't go crazy all right I'm, I'm pretty good with things and get them out on time but um right now like I said the reading wait time is about three weeks so if you guys have um, you know if you have the ability to wait that long and if you know you just want to do like a general monthly where I'm telling you your past present and future at the point that you know I'm, I send you the reading then we can totally go for it but if you guys do order that reading the standard one and you have to wait and there's anything that changes in the reading then please go ahead and email me keep me updated and I'll just apply the changes to the reading when I do it okay I love y'all so much and um, as well as being able to get that question on Instagram I also post daily energies so, you know, I just pull three cards. I tell you what your day can go like. And a lot of people seem to resonate with it. So it's something that's pretty cool. So I love y'all. Squad, you're the best. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.